Stacy, I don't assume you've ever sent sound on a light beam. No, I haven't. No. Well, that's what you and I are going to do today. We're going to send light from way over there, all the way across the room, over to here, and we're going to have carry all the sound information, which is kind of unusual. Let's start, yeah. though, at the beginning. Here is uh, a record. Where's the sound coming from? Well, it's coming from the speaker over yeah, that here. That little speaker over there, okay. But now, where is the sound recorded, the sound information? Well, on the record. Yes. And have you ever looked uh, closely at a record with a magnifying glass? No, I haven't. Well, you know about there's a grooves in the record. That's yes. what the needle is following. Well, I have a magnifying glass set up over there. You look through it and see what do you see beside the grooves? Well, I see jagged lines and bumps and waves. Jagged? Yeah. Variations, well, at least, right? Yeah. Okay, variations. all kinds of little squiggly lines. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, those squiggly lines <clears throat> are making this needle vibrate back and forth. And the cartridge that the needle is sitting in changes those vibrations into electrical vibrations. We, they send those down through a wire to the amplifier. And they change them to sound? Well, they send finally the signal over to the speaker, and the speaker changes it into sound. I so see. that's going to be our source of sound. Okay. Now, at the other end of the light beam is going to be this projector. You've seen a projector like this? Yes, I have. In school. school yeah. yeah. When you turn it on, there's a light inside here that shines through the film and the pictures on the screen, right? Mm -hmm. But there's another little light that maybe you didn't know about. That's buried inside the projector. And right here, I've pulled out the element so it's right there. Mm -hmm. There's a little device that's something like the needle on the record. The needle on the record changed mechanical vibrations into yeah. electrical vibrations. Well, this changes light vibrations into electrical vibrations. A little tube, a little sort of unit oh, that does neat. that. In fact, I'll turn the volume up. Here? Oh, yeah. That's neat. You mean it's on the film? No. Let me, uh, let me take the light bulb out because we're, going, we're not going to need the light bulb part of it. And let me show you <clears throat> on the film. You remember how you looked at the grooves on the record? Mm -hmm. Well, here's a piece of film. Take a look at that under the magnifying glass and what do you see? Well, there's holes on one side. Oh, and on the other, the lines get thicker and thinner. Yeah. I guess when nobody was talking, there's a straight line. Mm -hmm. And then somebody talks, it's all jagged. They're all jagged. Bumpy. Well, assuming it's talk, you can't tell from well, that what it is, no. right? You just know that that's the sound information, yeah. which is recorded on the film now in thicker and thinner lines in the same way it was on the record with the grooves. Now, if those little jagged lines come by this light source, there's a little magnifier in there, it focuses down on that, fo on that photo cell, and that'll change it into the amplifier, into electricity, go to the amplifier, and we'll hear the sound. Oh, neat. So somehow we've got to get the information on the grooves over there and to put there. it over here. Turn that volume up. And here's how we'll do it. With a flashlight? Yes. Let me turn the record on. And I'll turn the flash. Let's get a little more lively section of music. I won't turn it on too loud. You see what's happening? The light's varying. It's getting uh, lighter and darker. You see how that, we're now varying the light based on the electrical information coming from there. Yeah. Okay, now I'll turn the speaker off. Still varying? Uh-huh. Okay, Stacy, hold the flashlight and shine the light so it hits on that little photo cell right down there. Oh, neat. It's from the variations in the light. Yes. It's affecting that little cell. So it, it's... You sure that that's what it is? Well, Put it's giving... Hand. Well, yeah, because it's, this is, is the information. Wait, you got to hold... Because of the um, information, the light's carrying the information. Which the style is transferring okay. into sound. Right. We are now varying the light according to the information on the record. Right. And the, inf the different variations in the light are going over to the projector. Now stand way over there. All I'll right. turn the volume up and see if you can send it all the way across the room. When you see, hear the drum, it's kind of going darker and lighter. If you look at it, you can tell. And the light's really flashing now. Yeah. Along with the beat. See? It's really flashing with the beat. See, you can see the light flashing on the projector. Yeah. Okay, see. well, I told you when you first came in that we were going to send information on the light beam across the room, and you did it very well. Oh. Okay. You're the only kid in the block who's done it, too. Yeah. <laughs>